Hello everyone, and we are back. This is Pancakes with Bacon, and today we are going to continue our adventure into Blonde Justice, the first 3DO porn game, sort of porn, that we've decided to play. The first chapter was absolutely awful and told me nothing about the story. I'm hoping the second chapter actually introduces some kind of, you know, gameplay, but I guess we'll find out. So let's get started. Chapter one was a little bit of a letdown in that it basically only had strippers doing stripperly things. Hopefully we get some story now. So chapter two, uh, she obviously forgot her bra. I think that's the subtitle of the chapter. God damn it. I hate when I misplace my car keys. Maybe it's back here. No, it's not back here. No, maybe it's under the bed. In the rug? Upside down? Need to read a Dr. Seuss poem to figure this out. Hey, how you doing? You just walk into a random room and you find a woman starting to disrobe in front of her. Wow, this is like Inception. No, oh, no. Nope. Yeah, put it back on. Okay. She's totally unsure. She might be high as a kite right now. Look at those eyes. I could stare a hole right through a block of ice. And she just forgot her bra. I hate when that happens. Oh, well, hello. Maybe they're in there. Eh, no, nope, car key's not over there either. I love silhouettes. Doesn't everybody love silhouettes? It, make, it reminds me of like a James Bond film. Look at that surge protector, it's pink. Oh, that's so cute. Keep staring into my eyes. Seductively. Temptuously. Is that a word? I'm not even sure it's a word. So who's that woman in the background? And I didn't realize there could be like 17 overlaid videos at one time. Look at this. This is like a poor example of a James Bond film. It would be called Octopussy 2. When strippers grow bad. I have no idea. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. That doesn't make any sense. Who's this douchebag? Yep, you gotta get the nerve up to go in and... Oh, she's got a niche. So how would the theme song from that James Bond film go? Like, if, if we were to make up a theme song right now, how would, it, how would it go? Because, you know, the James Bond lyrics don't always necessarily make sense. It would be like... Stripping in the mirror... And I don't know what the story is about, but you'll watch anyway. Okay, maybe I'll stop that. I love when two ladies share an embrace. She is still getting undressed. She is literally moving in slow motion. They didn't film this in slow motion. She's just moving in slow motion. And that guy's just... Yeah, her face is up there. I'm still not sure what this scene is supposed to depict. And there we go, pantyhose man. I feel like this is a puzzle game, and we have to figure out the proper sequence of events. Because otherwise, I have no fucking clue what's happening right now. Where Where'd you go, you? man? I need my car keys. You stop sneaking up on me like that. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, this guy's this guy is an Academy Award-winning actor. I found this letter in my dressing room. How did it get there? I didn't let anyone. Back Look at that hair. Is that even real? Another letter. I know. Yeah. And why you all keep sneaking letter. up on me? This time he wants to strangle me with one of my own stockings. Well, first he has to get a hold of Yeah, see, that's that's, that's stripper logic that. right there. I can't find mine. He can't strangle you unless he's got one already. Don't you think it's time you call the police? We should call the police. Hi there. 
All right, I'm gonna call this woman Callahan. God damn it! What? Oh, we got another case. It's all right. I got Callahan here. I'll put her on it. Callahan, listen. You have to infiltrate the seedy world of strip teasing and figure out what happened to that woman's pantyhose. And you're the woman for the job. Now go. Do me proud. Hi, beard. Now, oh wait, what the hell is this guy doing? Okay, now that's an example of a dude that is totally out of his league. I mean, seriously. This dude is like every 80s nerd ever. I think I saw him in Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, women just walk around like that all the time. Well, hi there. Hey, would you like to play with my cue stick? This guy is deeply disturbed. I think I saw him in Silence of the Lambs. Oh, it's always good to wear protection. So has anyone pieced together this story yet? I mean, I think I get it. Oh, that was the end of the chapter. Well then. Okay, so a lot of good exposition in this chapter. Much like a quality film, they really went on and started to talk about what was really behind the story. They assigned a policewoman to the case, which I'm sure will help out somehow, and, and, and drive the story to some sort of conclusion because these people these actors, these everything, are just god-awful. I mean, honestly. I've seen bad full-motion video games before, but this is just... This is like... If anybody's ever watched Cinemax softcore porn kind of thing at, at late at night, right? The acting is atrocious. This is even worse because it's a full-motion video game that is basically taking that kind of acting and trying to make it... it I, I, don't, I don't even have words. I don't have words. Chapter 2 is done. We'll be back for Chapter 3. I sort of can't wait. Part of me is dying a little bit inside every time we continue. And I still haven't had to press any buttons on the controller, which is oddly satisfying. I'll see you next time.